Every year, thousands of workers fan out across California and Florida to pick strawberries. It's a back-breaking task that requires the delicate discernment of the human hand and the human eye to distinguish red from green, for example. Laborers spend weeks hunched over strawberry beds, sweeping their hands between leaves and plucking ripe red fruits while leaving green ones millimeters away for another day. They get paid a baseline rate and then an additional sum by the box, so time is of the essence. So is quality. The system worked well when farm labor was cheap and plentiful. No longer. A tightening of the U.S. border with Mexico, combined with an improving U.S. economy and other factors, means strawberry growers and other produce farmers are struggling to find enough farmhands. Nathan Dorn, who works for a major supplier to Driscoll's, has witnessed the impact of labor shortages. Every year it becomes more and more difficult to find the people to pick our berries in the field. And if we don't have those people available, the fruit is perishable, and we have only a certain amount of time to get it to the, from the field to the consumer. Last year, there were millions of dollars of produce left in the field, unable to be harvested because there weren't enough people. Juan Bravo is among those developing labor-saving devices to help with the problem. Financed by some strawberry growers, his Agrobot is a robotic harvesting machine that relies on high-powered computing and vision-sensing technology. With it, two people will be able to do the work of dozens, he says. The harvester has uh, 16 robotic arms, and as, as we move uh, forward with the harvester, the robotic arms are scanning the side of the, of the plants. And when they see a ripe strawberry with a vision system, the robotic arm go for that strawberry, pick it, and place that strawberry on the conveyor and the conveyor bring me the, the strawberry and I will place that strawberry on the tank cell. Mr. Bravo has spent a decade developing the Agrobot, first in his native Spain and now in the strawberry fields of Southern California, where he's been fine-tuning it for the past couple of years. Mr. Bravo plans to begin field trials with a new 60-armed machine this fall, and Mr. Dorn thinks it could be ready for deployment in less than five years. Well, I think in the future with this harvester, uh, about 60 or to 80 percent of the high labor needs will be solved by this technology or similar technologies. So, harvester fee will be partially or fully automated.